Well, hi there, food friends. It's Kevin. Hey, I'm Ralph behind the camera. And welcome to Cavalcade of Food. And Ralph, today we are going to be baking up a pie. And it's very unusual pie. A very unusual pie. So, you know, it's we're still in the holiday season, certainly. Um, and one thing that kind of, to me, is always reminiscent of sort of that Thanksgiving, Christmas, New Year's period, maybe because we eat so much turkey, is which we love. Razzleberry sauce. <laughs> is cranberries. Oh. Okay. We're making a cranberry pie. Wow. That's, yeah. That's very unusual. That sounds uh, very old-fashioned. So it, it is an old-fashioned recipe. I found it in an old cookbook. And um, uh, it's a nice change. I mean, you know, you think of fruit pies and berry pies, and we love cranberries, and we make our own cranberry sauce, and sometimes we use the kind out of the can. Um, but we love cranberry flavored things, I guess is what I'm trying yes, to say. Yes, the tartness, and it always goes well with citrus and yes. things like that. So, so we're going to, we, what I've got here is I've got four cups of fresh cranberries. Okay, I've just rinsed those off. Um, now, over here. You have a whole sugar factory. I, well, I've got two cups of sugar here. Okay, so just now, that regular. That may seem like a lot, and it is. But sugar you need it for the tartness. Uh, is real, I mean, because cranberries are really tart. I've got here three quarters of a teaspoon of ground cinnamon. I've got a tablespoon of flour, and I've got, it's hard to see because this plate's white. There's a quarter teaspoon of salt. Let's put all that in there. Okay. We're going to kind of just mix that around so that that's all incorporated. Then I've got... A third of a cup of orange juice and I'm gonna stir that in. I took it off the heat here for a hot second I just want to stir that orange juice in there see how it's kind of turning into the look at that syrupy oh yeah okay so that's just gonna combine all that our flour our sugars um, our cinnamon orange juice yeah orange and, and cranberry is a a natural. So did you say that there was heat on this before yeah. you added it? So I just I just turned the heat on before I put the sugar in. So does that help it to dissolve? No. I just didn't want the sugar to, to start toasting up or at the bottom. All right, now I'm going to put the cranberries in. Now that might not seem like a lot of liquid, but you know whenever we're cooking cranberries or blue, any kind of berry, there's a ton of water right inside these berries. So we're going to stir this in to the sugar and we're going to cook this over medium heat just until those berries start to burst open. Okay, when the skin start to pop, then we know we're there. All right? It already smells good. It already smells like the holidays, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. So anyways, we're going to come back. Like I said, I've got this on medium and we will wait till these berries start a popping. Then we'll add our other ingredients, which is a good tablespoon of grated orange peel. So more orange flavor. Mm. And of course, you know that that peel that has zest. a lot, that zest, yes, has a lot of orange uh, flavor in it. The oils. And I've got two and a half tablespoons of butter. Mm. Okay, that's going to go in there. But I want the before I put that in, I want these berries to cook up a little bit. Yeah. Okay? okay, so we'll be right back. Listen to more sugar lips. Al hurt. Yeah. There it is. Now, Ralph, you can hear that. Can you hear the popping? Oh, yeah. So that's what's happening here. The skins are popping, which means the berries are releasing some of their liquid. We're going to let this go just a minute more here. but It's like playing with bubble wrap. <laughs> Yes, it does kind of sound like that. Yeah, so we want a few more, a few more to pop. But that's basically what what you're going to hear. Um, and that's a medium heat. I've got it over medium heat. Yeah, and so uh, it, there, it's going to come up to bubbling again. So do, I'm for this, turn it down for this uh, filling for the pie. Do you want some full cranberries, or do you want them all popped and kind of more of like a cranberry sauce? No, we want we want some texture in it. Okay. So we're going to leave that. I'm going to cook this for maybe one more minute here. Then I'm going to add in. We'll come back in a sec. We'll add in that butter and 
orange cheddar zest. cheese. I mean, I'm going to take zest. this off the heat over. Put it over here. Now, see, you still got some berries there, but you can see how they've kind of some of them have lost their shape because the skins have popped. Now we're going to take again our butter. We have two and a half tablespoons and a nice heaping teaspoon of the orange zest. And we're going to stir this in just, oh, we want that to just that butter to melt. So you take, you do this off the heat on purpose? Yes. Mm -hmm. It's plenty hot to melt that butter, so that's not an issue. So you just don't want it to burn or anything? So no. And plus, you don't want it to keep now, popping. can you, if you can get on that steam, can you smell that orange? <laughs> yeah, now yeah. the camera's all steamed <laughs> Oh, <up>. sorry. <laughs> okay. That was my fault, folks. Bad idea. But, you know, intentions well, were good. Well, I thought we had smell-o-vision for a minute. Um, I was trying to get people to get a good whiff of that delicious cranberry aroma. With the butter and the sugar and the cinnamon. Yeah. The um, zest. Mm. So here's our, I've got a, a, a pie plate, a 10, 9, 9 inch pie plate, 10 inch pie plate here lined with our bottom crust. We're making, doing a shortcut, okay? I made, uh, I made crust the last time. This time I didn't have time to make the crust, so we're having a little help and that's fine too if you want to make your own crust by all means if you want to see how i make crust look at our pumpkin pie recipe or any number of other recipes yeah, some blueberry make, pies i'm sure yeah where i make a crust and by the way you know i have i get a lot of I, we love to hear from you um food friends and i get a lot of emails asking for recipes um because you're watching it on youtube and you know, there's no like written recipe, and some of you'd like the recipe. We're working on a cavalcadeoffood.com website, okay? It's in the works. And I'm in the process of loading the videos, and then accompanying each video is actually the written out recipe for whatever it is we're making. But, you know, I think we're on about video 220, so I've got a lot of backtracking to do and a lot of writing to do, but it's getting there. I think um, I'm through maybe the first three years or something like that, but I've been working on it a little at a time. We'll make a big announcement when it's ready to go. Um, you know what, Ralph? I, I'm not actually going to be baking this pie in our beautiful 1963 Westinghouse Terrace Top range which we love and it would be a fine place to bake a pie but I've used this once before in another video and I get a lot of questions about the roaster now for those of you who have been watching us for a long time you've probably seen a few different roasters sitting on top of this kitchen cart over the years because I do rotate them out um, because we have a few of them. A few. Yeah, that's an understatement. <laughs> <laughs> well, we have a collection of roasters. I know. Let's just say it like that. And you used to do church dinners, so yeah. there's, a, there's a need for um, them. But uh, they are great, great appliances to have. Um, and if you ever, there's essentially a second oven, Ralph. And this, and this one, of course, is from Sears, Roebuck and Company, automatic roaster oven. I had no idea you could bake a pie in a roaster. You can bake a pie. We bake cakes. We've made bread. Uh, of course, we do like you know turkeys and chickens and things yes, like that. Yes, more traditional. Uh, but, but it's, yes, it's heat and it's um, as good as any other oven. It right? really is, and in some ways, it's it's nice because it's small in terms of size and what it has is it has coils that wrap around the sides of it and then on the bottom so it's, so a it's nice heating even from all nice sides. even heat exactly um, <clears throat> you know this one is from the early 70s you can see the light went on because it's just reheating I've got it set to 400 degrees by the way so for this pie you want to set your oven whether it's a conventional oven or a roaster oven to 400 degrees um, this was actually, this is the Westinghouse design, okay, it's, it's got a Sears label on it, but it was really designed, this design is from Westinghouse, and um, they're just great. I know a lot of people talk that they use a lot of energy and things like that, and they do, but I'm going to lift it up 
I don't want the heat to escape. But you can see what I've done there is I've actually put a little tin foil at the bottom because we know what happens sometimes with a fruit pie. It'll boil over. And we don't we don't want that. So no extra right. work, no extra cleanup necessary. Exactly. So here's our filling. Okay. So let's put that so in. So that there. goes in pretty hot. It does go in hot. And you didn't need to, I noticed on some pies you've made, you've done this thing where you poke the bottom of the crust. Well, that that is, Ralph, that's if we're doing a single... Oh, just the, the shell. Right. If Depending on what's going in, sometimes you want the bottom already baked. And so we do it like that. Okay. So now, here we go. I'm going to get my top crust out. Well, that looks great just like that. It looks like a strawberry pie or something but um, yeah we were talking about how cranberries are really of the season and how you can do fun things with them that are more traditional but why not do something different like a cranberry pie I've never even heard of such a thing but and, I'm really anxious to try it and this time of year you know the cranberries are easy to get fresh in your local supermarket and, or and, farmers and expensively market. too they are and I understand that there was quite a big bumper crop of cranberries this year. All right, so here, we're gonna put on our, we're gonna layer on our top crust here. Now, so does that come out frozen, uh, the, the top crust? No, you, I mean, the, the crust you get in the refrigerated section oh, okay. of the, in the store. So when you put it on though, is it, is it cold it's cool. room temperature? Yeah, I mean, I brought it out of the refrigerator maybe 25 minutes ago. So that, because if it's too cold, it's not pliable. Won't lay right. I'm sort of tucking this in behind the other crust to prevent kind of a leak, any leakage that might come from the fruit. Um, and I guess I could have used a smaller pie plate that wasn't a, a deep dish, but this is what I grabbed first, and so we're going with it, okay? Believe me, it won't matter. He's like Julia Child. He just makes it work. We make it work. That's how life is in a It's about kitchen. the food. It's about the flavors. It's about the love you put into it, not about being too fussy. So there. Now, what I do want to do, because I do this for our fruit pies, is I want to make a few little slits in the top to crust ventilate it. to <clears throat> vent. Exactly. So we're going to do this. We're going to do this, we'll put one there, there, kind of like a star. And then what I really like to put on the top crust is this is called turbinado sugar. It's sort of um, like a granular. Yeah, thick, yeah, and it's you can see it's kind of got more sugar cane juice in it. And it's so it's a little has a little coloration. Yeah, and it gives a sweetness to the crust. Okay. You know what else you could do, Beautiful. which I've done on the very rare occasions that I made like a spinach pie, so it was uh, egg wash to make yes. it very brown, brown and yeah. nice. So we're going to put this in our roaster again. It's at 400 degrees, and we're going to come back in about 45, 50 minutes and see how it's okay. doing. Okay. We had uh, 42 minutes, it's been. Okay, since we put it in. Okay, we're going to check on it. And look at that. Wow. So. Pie in a roaster. Pie in a roaster. So what I'm going to do is let's. It almost reminds me of a rhubarb pie because rhubarb is also bitter and sweet. Yeah. And it has the reddish kind of coloration like that. You're right. It does. Totally rhubarb. I'm going to put bring this over here. I mean, something about the aroma, too. But, um, yeah, that looks good. Doesn't that look good? So it's bubbling away. Uh, of course, remember, like all fruit pies, the uh, interior will thicken up as the pie cools. And it's going to take, you know, a few good, hours good to really before cool it's down. Cool but, enough to cut into. But, it. yeah. So there it is. We've made a beautiful cranberry pie. And you can see the, I don't know if the camera's picking it up, but the... Sugar, on sugar, top. yeah, kind of gave it a nice brown, and the crust is all yeah, it good really here. Yeah, up nicely yeah. in that uh, roaster. Who yeah, it did thought? a nice job. So, anyways, this is our pie, our cranberry pie. I'm looking at the bottom of the crust, nicely done, browned all the way around. 
I love cooking in glass pie plates. I just always think they do such a nice job. But Plus you can check on them easy. Yes. So anyways, here it is, folks. We've made a cranberry pie. Um, it's going to be a while before we dig into it, but we'll look forward to it. All right, Ralph. Here it is. Um, it's completely cool. Okay. Oh, yeah. Uh, so the what time about our... Come. What about our business? And um, this pie is now completely at room temperature. So let's just cut the into moment it. Moment of truth. Yes. Let's cut into it here. We're going to cut ourselves a slice. And the crust is nice and flaky, although I can't take any credit for it. Well, you did look. add that sugar to the top. Yes. And I think that looks nice. Mm -hmm. Right. Here, here yeah, what do you go. call that granulated sugar? Uh, Turbinado sugar. Yeah, and I'd be go. curious to find out what the sweet to tart ratio is on this cake. So because if it's if it's too sweet, you might need to add some vanilla ice cream. It would be good with vanilla. Take a look here, Ralph. Here's the inside of the pie. See that? Yeah. Very nice, like a typical berry pie. It almost looks like a cherry pie. Yeah. Such a deep red. So we will. Yeah, it does. It looks like a. A cherry pie, but very yeah. reminiscent of that. Let's uh, looks wise. Give it the taste test and find out what the sweet there we go to tart ratio is. Wow! Tell us what you're getting. Flavors? It's sweet. You're getting the orange. Oh, good. And then the tartness of the cranberry really different really good the orange is you know how orange it's almost like a brightens it yeah but it's almost like a orange perfume uh, through the filling it's hard to describe mm, but it just mixes with the cranberry in such a way it's a nice contrast but that you know the, the cranberries themselves are tart but this but the the glaze on the inside of the pie is the sweet and yes, I can see the cameraman wanting to try. Oh yeah. Yeah, you get it? Mm, I see what you mean. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you get that orangeness right away that but oh yeah, it's not not, not bitter or tart in at a bad all. in a bad way at all. I mean you get a little bit of it in the way like you do with a good rhubarb. Now yeah, and this would this would be mm. wonderful with whipped cream, vanilla ice cream, mm -hmm. or we like it just like that, but if you wanted to serve the salamon, yeah, no, it's good. It'd be great. I'm getting to the buttery. Mm. Um, didn't you mix butter in the uh -huh. sugar and stuff? Yes. Yeah, mm -hmm. I'm getting some of that too. So it's good, very good. There it is, folks. Our wonderful old cranberry, fashioned. old fashioned cranberry pie. So we had a great time putting this pie together. Hope you had a great time being with us. Thank you so much. I'd say this is a winner. I would definitely say this is a winner. And something really unique, too. A new way to use cranberries for the holidays. Thanks for being a part of it. We'll see you next time right here on Cavalcade, Cavalcade of Food. Food. Bye, everybody. Till next time.